Okay, class, today what we're going to do is refresh your memory on how to simplify radicals. This is a skill that you, know, you should have uh, learned in Algebra 1 class, and it's essential um, to have mastered before we move on here in Unit 6. Okay, you're going to do, you're going to be um, uh, doing this a lot moving forward, so we have to have this down, so today we're going to jog the memory um, and make sure we're all good with this. What I plan on doing is doing the first five problems um, from this homework worksheet and then you guys would be left to finish the rest on your own. Let's get started with number one, simplifying the square root of 54. So the first thing we want to do is um, look at our radicand. So that's the number underneath the radicals. So uh, it's 54. And we want to write down the factors of 54. So 1 in 54, um, 2, And 27, 3, and 18, 6, and 9, and that's it. Okay, now what we're looking for. Is there a factor of 54 that is a perfect square? So here... I wrote the list of perfect squares. Uh, you have this list on a worksheet. So is there a factor of 54 that's a perfect square? And the answer is yes, it is 9. So we are going to break this up. We can rewrite this as, uh, this, we, were, could, we can rewrite the square root of 54 as the square root of 9 times the square root of 6. 9 and 6 give us 54. Notice how I wrote the, uh, the perfect square first, um, because this is going to be easier to put together at the end. All right, so now, what is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 is 3 times the square root of 6. So, just to make sure that the square root of 6 cannot be simplified any further, we're going to write down the factors of 6. So, 1 and 6, 2 and 3. Notice how none of these factors is in my list of perfect squares. If that's the case, you know that this is completely simplified so you can't do anything with it so it, we just bring it down as the square root of 6. All right, and now at the very end we're going to combine so we are going to rewrite this as square uh, 3 times the square root of 6. So that's your answer. Okay. So the first thing you do is you find the factors of uh, your radicand um, see if one of the factors is a perfect square. If it is, go ahead and break it up. All right, let's do another one. Okay, so for number two, we have the square root of 96. Uh, 196, I'm sorry. Alright, so let's look at uh, 196. Well, if you look at your list, 196 is a perfect square. The square root of 196 is 14, so A would be your answer. The same thing for number 3. The square root of 64, 64 is a perfect square, so the square root of 64 equals 8. 
So E is your answer. All right. So sometimes um, the radicand is a perfect square, and we get a nice uh, whole number answer. So let's do number four, the square root of 448. Okay, so we have the square root of 448, all right, and um, this is a pretty big number. So because it's a very big number, I'm just going to initially go through these list of perfect squares and see if I can find one that will divide evenly, 448. So right off the get-go, I know that I can divide 448 by 4. So we're going to break that up. So 4, 48, divided by 4. Okay, notice 4 goes into 4 once. Oops. And you can do this in your calculator. Uh, 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 8 twice. So we're going to have the square root of 4 times the square root of 112. So the square root of 4 is 2. So we have a 2 there. We're multiplying these together. Okay, so now notice I've really drastically reduced my number. Um, uh, so I'm going to have 2 times the square root of 112. So now let's look at the factors of 112. See, it's much easier now. So let's, we're going to see if we can reduce this. So factors of 112, 1 and 112. Um, it's even, so 2 and... Fifty-six, and then uh, not three, four. Let's see, four goes into eleven two times, and then with the remainder, so four and twenty-eight. Okay, so there's a a perfect square there. I'm gonna keep going though. Let's go, not 5, 6, no, 7, no, 8. So, I got a perfect square, so we're going to go with this. So we're going to break this up as the square root of 4 times the square root of 28. So we're going to have 2 times, the square root of 4 is 2, times the square root of 28. All right, now we'll take the square or we'll take 28 and we'll break that or we'll write down the factors for 28. So 1 and 28, 2 and 14, 4 and 7. So 4 is a perfect square, so we're going to rewrite 2 times 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 7. So it's going to be 2 times 2 times the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 7. So 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So we're going to have 8 square root of 7 as your answer. Okay, so just to review what we did. We looked at 448. Right off the get-go, I knew that 4, a perfect square, divided evenly. So I just got it started. So I rewrote it as square root of 4 times the square root of 112. The square root of 4 was 2. So now I turn my attention to the square root of 12, 112 and reduce that. So I wrote down the factors of 112. 1 and 112. 2 and 56, 4 and 28. I stopped right there because 4 is a perfect square. 
So I rewrote it as square root of 4 times square root of 28. So I have 2 times the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 28. Okay, can we reduce the uh, square root of 28? Uh, well, write down the factors of 28. 1 and 28, 2 and 4, 4 and 7. All right, so I got 4 again. So I rewrote it. I rewrote the square root of 28 as the square root of 4 times the square root of 7. Well, the square root of 4 is 2. So now I have 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 times the square root of 7. All right, so that's... Um, uh, the bigger the number, they get uh, um, they get a little bit more um, involved to solve. All right, so let's do the last one, number five. All right, so number nine, um, so number five, uh, we need to simplify the square root of ninety six. So let's down, write down the factors. So we have one and ninety six. We have, it's even, so we have 2 and 48. Uh, we have 3 and 32. We're going to have 4, uh, so 4 goes into 9 twice with the remainder 1, so 4 and 24. So I will go ahead and just stop right there. 4 is a perfect square, so let's break this up as the square root of 4 times the square root of 24. Well, the square root of 4 is 2. All right. Now, the square root of 24, can we simplify that? Well, the factors of 24 would be 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. So, I got, there's my 4 again, okay? So, I can break this up as the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. So, I'm going to have 2 times the square root of 4 is 2. Notice how I always write the, uh, the square root of the perfect square first. All right, putting it out on, put it, that makes sure it's out in front, um, that's just kind of standard on how you would write it, the number out in front, followed by, in this case, the square root of 6. Okay, so now the square root of 6, so factors of 6, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, none of those are perfect squares, so this is finished. So 2 times 2 is 4, so we have 4 square root of 6 as your answer. Okay, so in all five of these, we were able to um, simplify. Now, that's not always the case, so you may get a, um, uh, a radical where you can't simplify it. Um, let's take a look at, real quick, you know, something where, you know, that may be the case. All right, um, and I'm just making this example up. So the square root of 21, the factors of 21 are 1 and 21 and 3 and 7. Now, none of these factors is a perfect square. So the, tw the square root of 21 would be simplified. You couldn't, you couldn't do anything further. All right, so... Um, I hope this I hope this video helps refresh your memory. Again, this is a skill that um, you, should, you guys worked on in Algebra One.
Again, it's important to master as we proceed into um, chapter six. So good luck with the uh, rest of the homework problems. Uh, you want to complete the, uh, the remaining 15, um, and uh, I will answer any questions uh, when we're back in class.